Welcome to this video. I really seriously do encourage you to paint with me, watercolor with me, crayon, crayon, crayon or crayon? Which one? Let me know. With me. Whatever you feel like doing, just creating. I have this piece here that I have already started. I have a nice little scrumptious face on here. Let's just get crack a on this watercolor piece. I really, really hope that you, like, you can hear me because this situation is kind of weird. My phone device, cellular device, somehow vanished. And I'm convinced that there is a mischievous spirit. And you know what? I'm not convinced. I know that there is a mischievous spirit that follows me and makes me lose everything. It's not me. It is this ghost. This is a fun brush. You see this? You see this? This is my favorite brand of brushes. It's so, like, weird to say. Royal and Lang Nickel. Very nice. Not too expensive. Michaels carries them. Just want to let you know. Okay. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I want to start selling prints really, really badly. Do we like where the eye is? No. I forgot what I was talking about. Something about prints. Yeah, I want to sell prints. That's that. Oh my gosh. Yesterday at 1 a.m. I was telling myself I want this video to be the chill, stop freaking out on you version of me. But I don't know what happened, but I just start freaking out. Ugh. You know what? I just need to start only making stuff at 1 a.m. Because I think that's like the prime best time for me. I just realized that that other camera is dead. And I'm going to go find a battery. Uh, see you in a few seconds. We're back and better than we were before because I found my phone so now I can record from here and there so you can get the best possible experience possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's start sketching the baby frog. I think frogs are some of the cutest creatures that ever have walked our earth. They're just so like... Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, you know what this toad reminds me of? Something has happened to me that I was praying would never occur to me because I just felt like I was too good to have something like that to happen to me. That sounds awful. But I just wanted to convince myself that like that does not apply to me. You hear that birdie? I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's also really beautiful. So keep chirping. Chirp away. But um, I got a wart on my toe. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, I never thought I would ever get a wart. That's what the toad reminded me of. You know what my goal is? Good posture. I think when that happens, a lot of good things will follow. Good posture. I just feel like this is such a dreamy, fun experience that we're sharing together. Painting, drawing, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not because I, it didn't occur to me this entire time until like a week ago that when people make videos that say paint with me, they mean paint with me. I just thought that was like a fun, cute title, but that's what they mean. But anyways, I'm happy we're sharing this moment. Good weather. The birds are chirping, my soul is singing. I kind of feel like all we're gonna get done together today is this froggy, because that'd be a little bit lame -o. You don't know, I will finish this. I may just not finish it all in this sitting, but I will finish it in this video. You will be seeing the end of this art piece. Very good of me, Anya. Very good of you. You know what, I just wanna come on here and apologize to all the froggies and toads that I seriously harassed as a young, young child. I'm really, really, really sorry to all of you because I was not very kind. I would just pick you up, act like you were mine, and you weren't mine. You were your own little froggy. You did not deserve that. You did not, and I'm sorry. I feel better. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Ow, I have a, you ever get those pains inside of you where you're, it's just, uh, for no reason, for no reason. It's just, wow. Okay, I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. Now we're gonna add some leaves around here. You know what boggled me? I think for a couple years back in our history, like as in five years ago, there was a movement of people not liking the color yellow. Who are you and why? Just tell me why. How can you not like the color yellow? Yellow is joy. It is all things good. I do not understand that. And you know what's kind of cool? Um, green is such a fascinating color. Like if you're just, you know, strolling in the car, going on a walk, and you look at all the green around you, it has so many different colors in it. Majority of greens are mostly, mostly, mostly yellow. And then there's like a lot of blue and those darker greens. And sometimes a little bit of like an orangey, sometimes some brown. Green is fascinating. I'm so happy it exists. Imagine our world without green. Oh, so terrible. I don't, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not good. Not a good sight. You know, there's also such a crazy dog. I'm in love, like in love, 
in love with Billie Eilish. I have I have been supporting you, girl, since the beginning. You know what a, such a fascinating thing to think about? Is that she is also on this very earth. This very earth. This one. And she's like out there doing things as I speak. Billie Eilish. And like all the other, you know, people. All the people. All the people are out there doing things as I speak. Yeah. Crazy. There's so many little birdies like around here and I don't trust them. I don't trust them. They make too creepy of little <laughs> sounds. Mm -mm. I've lost my pencil. Where could it be? This is what confuses me. It's like, where could have it gone? So, what? Okay, I'm gonna take this off now. Ow, I just pulled on my oh, ear. I don't know what I did to it. Oh, there it is. It was under my leg. I just dipped this in the tea I was drinking. That's okay. I mean, I see some remnants of it in there. A little gross. How bad could it be? Maybe really bad. I'm willing to risk it. Mmm. What? Ugh. <gasps> if you're not painting right now, I'm obsessed with you. You don't even have to be painting. Go find a pencil right now. Go find some paper, some cardboard, anything, and let's create together. I demand it. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue. Now I'm gonna color in these branches. I feel so good right now. Do you feel good? That is the power of art. That is the power of making stuff. You know what I've been thinking about? It's like, I think that's why people love to like pop pimples. I mean, maybe you don't, but from my experience on earth, many people do because it really just gets your brain focused. Because imagine this, just, okay, put yourself in the time that you were like popping some pimples on your face or your back, or maybe you're the good one of the good ones and you don't do that because you know it's not good for your skin. But if you're like the rest of us that do do that, imagine you in that moment and think, were you stressed in that moment? Were you worried? Were you anxious? Most likely not. So I believe this is a very similar experience. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes making art is just very stressful and like crazy. But sometimes it's like a pimple popping experience. Girl, oh, I am so profound sometimes. Or maybe I just like to think I am. I want more pimple popping experiences where it's just like there's nothing else except what you're doing. Like when you're popping pimples. I'm really happy where I think the internet in some regard is going or maybe it was just because i was younger but from my experience of the internet like growing up it was just very what's the word what is the word there's like a fancy word that smart people likely use manufactured i don't know commercialized but i think now with like tiktok and people just like from at least my point of view at this time just not really caring about those things as much it's really good for our brains because you know who i love I love Ava Jules because she reached, I don't even like watch the whole video, but just the fact that she uploaded the video was really empowering and inspiring for me. She just did a whole video about like body image and like loving yourself in the process of that and like what her experience has been. And just like imagining my 12 year old self, how much I really would have appreciated that. I'm gonna show you my tummy because certain angles, my tummy looks very nice, but my tummy is normal. This is my tummy. You see what I mean? Your tummy's beautiful, okay? Tummies have chub. I could never imagine myself showing my tummy like five years ago, but this is my tummy, it's so cute, hee <laughs> Okay, when I was younger, I would also look up videos of people like their workout before and after journeys just to motivate myself to want to change myself and like want to not like myself. So it's a fine line of it being inspiring and it being not inspiring. Also, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to talk about this forever. I'm gonna bring the camera closer. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay. I am so passionate about this topic and I'm very happy about it. And it's just like a sensitive thing. So I don't really know how to go about it because when things get serious, I get very scared that I'm gonna say something wrong. I mean, everyone does. Why am I making this such a big deal? 
telling you, why why did you have to like give such that a anticipation climax to thing to talk about this? Now I'm just so much pressure. Mm, I need water. I need water. I'm feeling woo. Okay. Anywho, growing up, this also has to do with like body stuff, how you view yourself. They're really at least from my experience in middle school, is not a lot of education about what the woman's body, particularly the vulva. Yes, the vulva. I said it. Let's say it together. Vulva. Vulva. It's actually such a cool word. Vulva. Anyways, looks like. And me, like at 10 years old, not even knowing what a single vulva really even looks like, I thought my body was deformed. Because in my mind, I was like, whoa, 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 what's going on down there? I don't think that's right. That does not look good. That does not look good. And I really seriously believe that up until like a year ago, until I took research and education into my own hands, which is a very empowering and important thing to do. And I just wanna say, I think it's very, very sad and disheartening to think that I'm sure there's many of us out there that believe that our vulvas aren't beautiful. Talking to a lot of girls, a lot of us from at least my experience is that people tend to believe that their vulvas aren't beautiful, okay? Um, and that it's deformed and that something's wrong and that it doesn't look what maybe others people's looks like and that it's something you want to change and it's sad but i just want to tell you that your vulva is beautiful all the shapes and sizes and colors and any everything because this is what i tell myself there's a truck goodbye truck leave truck we're talking about something important is that first according to the evolution that I learned in science class, and I don't even remember much. There are plants, okay, and there were flowers. And then humans came along, okay? Which means, as like at least how I see the vulva, is it's like emulating a flower, okay? Or the flowers emulating the vulva. Please don't mind the raging AC unit in the background. But I'm kinda, I'm kinda being dumb. I'm just gonna throw it out there because flowers literally are vulvas. Like, they make the fruit, so. That makes plenty of sense. Flowers are like gracing our world with such a beautiful presence, okay? And it's the same for the vulva. Respect the vulva, okay? Your vulva, if you have a vulva, is beautiful. Remember that. That was that would have also been something I would have appreciated to hear at 10, 11 something years old. I don't even know what I'm doing with this painting now. I was just getting really passionate about the vulva. It's really a shame like thinking back to middle school and how they taught sex education because consent was never something that came up and I feel like that that should be the first thing you discuss and like seriously discuss and it just wasn't. That's that's some crazy that is some crazy stuff. Mm -mm, not good. Do most flowers have five petals? I wonder why. <gasps> and we have five fingers on each hand. Wow. The earth. It's so connected. Whoa, that's actually, that is mind boggling. Okay, one, two, three. talk about something that I've never discussed before and for a lot of reasons and I'm sure you could just like guess the reasons but I thought maybe my experience with everything that is happening right now might help you it's also pretty interesting but I don't like to think about it too much because it's also very unfortunate cameraman made a couple features in my past videos I don't know if you've watched them, but from my videos while I was in Germany for my exchange year. I never like really talked about it, but yes, he is my boyfriend. We are now long distance and it's hard. He lives in Germany. I am in the United States of America. And it's an interesting experience because it was very, very fast when I had to leave there because of COVID-19. I had to say goodbye to everyone in less than a matter of hours and I had to say goodbye to him and that was really hard. When I look at the whole scheme of things like this is just like one period in my life and really in comparison like it's not the worst thing that could happen but long distance is really interesting because on one hand it really feels like 
everything just has been put on pause like since we've been apart because a lot of what you associate a relationship with is like experiencing things together and outdoing things and like being with the person which is obviously not what we have yeah and i just don't even know when we're gonna see each other again like with the borders opening and things and please be nice that's all i'm asking for and that's like the reason i just don't want to bring it up because there's sometimes mean things that people say and it's like mean and especially because he's obviously not on youtube and so people were to say mean things he didn't ask for that but the experience really has made me like realize you really need to appreciate the time you have with people and make it count because you really don't know when that's gonna end i'm also really grateful that i'm like in a relationship because it had i've learned a lot because before that i've never been like close with anyone that's a guy really like i've had small friendships but other than that there's been no one and i grew up with three sisters and my mom and then my dad but my dad's like he's my dad you know he doesn't count and it's just been really interesting and eye-opening to see that like boys men they're people they're people they have feelings like not all of them are big ego scary intimidating individuals and also it's like really put my mind at rest because i used to be really overwhelmed by the whole idea of just like flirting or those first impressions of someone with someone because i never got past the like scary jittery i don't know what to do experiences with guys so it's been very liberating to just like not have that worry anymore and also it's, it's helped me just like be more confident because it's like it doesn't matter what some random dude that isn't taking you seriously thinks i don't like the whole weird flirty game game like why does it have to be a game i don't know i don't even know what i'm saying and also for everyone that was asking like what sign i am i'm a leo i really resonate with it, it makes me very happy that i'm a leo because like it's a lion <laughs> feels cool <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna put this on pause and I'm gonna finish this another time and that's what you're gonna watch now. As much as I would love to paint that piece, I know it would take 10 plus hours and it's already been like two weeks since I've uploaded something to the interwebs. So I'm just gonna know. But if you do wanna see it at some point, go follow my Instagram because I'll most definitely certainly post it there when I'm done.